He's a man on a mission to prove that healthy eating doesn't have to mean missing out. The body coach, Joe Wicks, is back with another mouth-watering recipe and some tasty examples of what he recommends we eat for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Hello. Hello again. It's very nice to see you. You caught me doing a Snapchat a minute oh, ago. I was embarrassed did. and I panicked and ran off. And to do. I was like, <laughs> love that. It was very good. You're That's very why the show online. is live. You have a good, a good presence. But you say you're pretty fed up yeah. with diets. They annoy you. Yeah, diet, you know, low calorie diets. Everyone now is thinking, I want to get in shape for summer, and they initially think, I've got to drop calories, starve myself, eat like a rabbit. And I know from what I've been doing with online clients and my, my you know, my 90 day plan that you need more energy. The body, you can't survive and sustain, you know, a diet where you're eating literally like 12, 1100 calories a day. It's depressing, right? So, in front of us, really depressing. So, in front of us, we've got a, a, this is a breakfast, a typical breakfast that you would eat. I mean, Bacon with all the fat on, avocado, that's quite fatty, but fat's good. Yeah, this now. is the thing, I, you know, you saw that big study came out at the beginning of the week about how, you know, saturated fats aren't as bad as they once thought and all that science was old and dated. So it's about, you know, thinking outside the cereal box, you know, because they're full of sugars. Something like this, this is my eggs baked in avocado and the bacon, you know, really healthy fats. That's going to give you stable blood sugar levels and give you loads of energy as opposed to picking you up and making you want more cereal and sugar and stuff. That, that it's once again those conflicting reports. You're told, oh, bacon's really bad for you. How many times have we been told? that bacon is really bad for us. Yeah, you know, it does contain fats, but like I said, everything in moderation. And this is a breakfast... But not just fats, it's because it's... Because it's, um, it's the... It's the, it's the, the fact that it's... What you call it? It's been oh, like pros, well, pro, yeah, you know, you, know you can get good quality bacon though. You know, I'm, I'm, this isn't something I eat every single day, but it's you know a really nice treat and it's going to give you loads of energy. So yeah, don't don't be don't be fearing the fats. Basically, they're good and for you. And this is yummy. And again, yeah, this is a really healthy salad. So it's chicken, bacon, avocado, walnuts. It looks low calorie, but there's loads of calories in that. So you're not going to be hungry like an hour later, you know. And, and anything like when you get snacks as well, like have some cashew nuts, things like that. Wouldn't that really, be yeah. Annoying? You don't need to starve yourself. Your body needs so that's energy, right? So and lunch. What about dinner? So. Basically, I'm going to make a really quick and healthy beef and udon noodle stir fry, right? So it's just going to be, I've got some steak, sirloin steak marinated in some soy sauce and some garlic. Yeah. And I've got some coconut oil in here. I like to cook in coconut oil. Yeah. You might have seen that on my Instagram videos. And um, I've got some red onions in there. So literally get it nice and hot. You're just going to stir fry the, back the beef yeah. for a couple of minutes. And then and we're going to... And why do you use coconut oil over normal oil? So it's a really, it's a saturated fat, right? Which again, everyone's like, you shouldn't eat that. It's really bad for you. But it's a stable fat, so it's really good for cooking. Right. And um, yeah, so I tend to do all my cooking in coconut oil and butter. And then when I dress my salads, I'll use like extra virgin olive oil and sesame oil and things like that. So okay. as you can see, this thing takes... Extra virgin olive oil is highly calorific. Yeah, I mean, all, oil, all oils contain a lot of calories. But like I said, if you're dressing a salad, you know, when you ha put fats on a salad, it, it allows you to absorb the fat-soluble vitamins. So. It's, it's actually a good thing. So putting a little bit of feta cheese, some mozzarella and a bit of olive oil on your salad is actually going to make you get more out of the salad, no more out of the nutrients of the salad. Oh, nice. So can you pass me the greens? So do you know oh, what yeah. I call, remember what I call these? Remember uh, the name? Broccoli. I call them <laughs> midget trees. Oh, All right, so okay, got, of course. Yeah, midget trees. They look like little trees, don't they? So midget trees and monge too. But again, you can put anything you like in here. So whatever vegetables the kids like, you know, whether it's, um, you know, aubergine, courgette, and it's all about speed, right? So lean in 15, you know, my Instagram has gone yeah. crazy because it's literally 15 minute meals, really quick and easy. And really quick so and many done. people. And, and also, you have a thing about that is the time of day that you eat. So, and noodles. And you can eat different things at different times. Yeah, so the books, the books and my whole philosophy is about macronutrient time, okay? So eating your fats, protein, and carbs at the right time so your body actually metabolises it and uses it as energy as opposed to storing it all. And um, I basically live my life on, on a kind of way that I have two reduced carbohydrate meals, so higher in fats and protein. Yeah. And I'll do my little workout, like a 20 minute hit session, and then have a post workout meal with carbs and protein. Something like afterwards. this. Afterwards. Yeah, so you afterwards. Eat your carbs for wow. after your Wow, never done that before. <laughs> Look at you, like a proper I'm chef. Like a, I'm somehow becoming a chef. So the last little thing you've got to add is a little bit of soy sauce and then a tiny bit of um, toasted sesame oil just to give it a little bit of flavour. And, um, yeah, that's it. So, is this something you'd eat, do you think? I know, mm. yeah, I do. Um, those noodles always slightly freak me out because they're a bit wormy. Yeah, these are the udon noodles, but you can literally, they're straight to walk, so any, any type of noodle you like, you, yeah. can even, you could even put rice in this, you know, a bit like one microwave rice, throw it in. Just and, um, change it up a bit. And presumably, any meat as well, or if you're vegetarian, you could use tofu or something. Yeah, you could do chicken, prawns, tofu. Yeah. Um, this is obviously a bit of beef, and I reckon we're good to go. What do you think of that, all right? Oh, and they're then, amazing. Get it on and there. super fast, not even 15 minutes, that one. Oh, I've got it on almost, right. there you go. So should we try it out? Because it tastes mm. good. Right, so yeah, that's it. I mean, it's lean and 15, beef and udon noodle stir fry. Yeah. And, and the whole, to be honest, the kids will love that too, because yeah. there's no spice in that. It's not really chilly, you know, it's not a spicy one. Oops. But you can add what you want to it. I'm going to try these noodles. Mm. Is that a bit of you? Yummy. That's really lovely. Does it, 
frustrate you that mm -hmm. the information mm -hmm. that we as consumers are given constantly changes? Because I think I mean, there's a lot of people being in agreement that one day you're supposed to eat something, the next day you're not. Yeah, it's really challenging. Everything's so contradictory. You know, we're told that we've got to cut fats, cut carbs, really low calorie. And it, I just know I'm working with so many clients that it doesn't work, you know, and you can eat fat, you can eat carbs at the right time. And that's what the whole lean and 15 kind of concept will teach you. Yeah. So mm. you've really got to enjoy your food, right? And this I is was about nice talking food. about earlier on with Dr. Zoe that we were we were discussing how actually how people now uploading images on, on themselves, such as on Instagram or on Twitter and following their progress with exercise and diet is actually kind of making them continue with it yeah i say i say uh, my, my thing is throw away the sad step right i call the scales the sad step oh the sad step it's yeah. sad isn't it? you stand on it it's depressing it's never fat loss isn't ever linear so i say take progress pictures every month and see real change in your body and that's what really that's is that how often you should it once a month i think once a month you can see real visual changes yeah like you don't want to do it every week but once a month you're going to actually see your body shape change and that's the important thing you don't want to just obsess over the it's like counting calories stop doing it and standing on the sad step if you do those two things life will be a lot easier and be a lot happier 